Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to write a C++ code that would basically output what I have on the screen. So let me make it a little bigger so you can see. So this is the output. This is what I want you to print out. So this is the first of many videos to come for C++. This is, uh, this is the absolute beginning. So the code that I'm going to show you how to write, it's probably not the cleanest, but it's intentional. As you watch more of my videos in C++, you basically see the, you basically see the growth and how I believe a C++ code can be written. Now, from my experience, I've been writing C++ codes since I was a senior in high school, then in college, then I got my master's in computer science at NYU. So... I've been doing this for quite a while, so um, I can best you can best assure that um, you'll be fine. Okay, so first thing first. Let's see. So this is the goal. The goal is I want this output. So let's first analyze this 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 output here. So you want one, two, three, four, five. You want that to be defined now let me explain something it's a it's it's harder to write a code for me at this stage at that is not so clean just so i can teach the basics so i'm going to try to um how can i say it um not use things that you probably do not know yet if this is your first time doing c plus plus this is exactly who this video is made for people who are doing C++ for the first time. Alright, so enough talking, and let me start coding. So, let us start. Anytime you start with a C++ code, well, I'm assuming first that you have some form of compiler that can compile C++ codes, and an editor. I am using Sublime Text, uh, as you can see here. Let's see, that's right, I'm a big Man United fan, by the way. So sublime text right here. Okay, so let's see. So when the compiler goes through your code, the first thing it looks for is the main function. If it doesn't see that, it's going to send you an error. Let's just have it like that. So the main. Okay, so when I press tab, it just comes out. That's the beautiful thing with sublime. Now all this inside stuff, I'm not gonna explain it now. It's just BS garbage for now. Just erase it, it doesn't really matter. So the first thing, I want to do is this. I'm going to talk about some concept. I'm going to talk about uh, inputs and outputs. You know. Now, to also to do basics in input and output streams, you need the library that does that. You know, just like with any other language. And with C++, to so bring in a library, once you have download the compiler and all the packages, you do. Um, Hashtag include. I like I, I like just pressing ints whatever. Hashtag include IO. In, I stands for input. O stands for output. Input streams. IO streams. And then I'm going to bring in another package using. Although you do not have to, you can just use std. But I'm going to bring in the whole library. It's not efficient. You can just say std instead, but. Let's let's do this for now using namespace std. Okay, next thing. So I am going to define five variables as double rather than ints. For ints basically is you know what I can define the one as an int. This is called declaration. I am not assigning anything, I'm just declaring. Then I'm gonna so because I want this values the values to the right these are the square root the values to the left are the number representing the number you want to square root so two the square root of two is probably gonna it's gonna give you a floating number so let's use double instead of float I'll, exp I'll, I'll explain that in my next video the differences between the data types one two then I do again I am declaring I am not assigning so I have to say n5. Okay, so th this is our declaring. That's what I'm doing. Now that I have declared, this is beautiful. Now, I 
once well since the square root of four the square root of four is also an int so we can make it an int it's fine now the next thing I want to do is I want to let's see again this is live I'm thinking as I'm doing this I, I this is not scripted anything um the next thing I want to do is I want to take the square root of each of the well first I first I want to pass in the numbers now there's since this is your first time doing this you can easily just do one equals one that's boring yeah, that's not fun you can do you can do one equals one uh, two equals two point zero because it's doubled so you have to do it this way now this is called assigning I am assigning the variables three equals 3.0 and 4 which is a hint hint equals 4 you can do this this is one way of doing this let's just see and then you can I'll show you a, a much more interesting and, and exciting way of doing it and then we can output to the to the console see out Let's say what do we want to see out? One. Let's say we can see out. You know what? Let's be fancy. No, let's not be fancy. Let's just do one equals. Now I need to do the square root. I think it's this square root of one. But there's a problem with this. I, I don't have the library. I gotta bring the library in. Include CMath. I believe that's the library. I'm gonna Google this. CMath. C plus plus. Is there a square root? Let's see. It's square root. Yep, it is right here. A small case is this small is that how you use a small case is it's a small case it's not a big case okay so small case square root one and then you do now I'm gonna now to do a new line so go to the next line like to make it look pretty when you output it you do uh, you do um, the backward slash n which stands for new line and then two equals square root of two. And then again, I put slash new line. So I'm basically creating a new line each time. Square root. Four equals and then new line five equals square root and then to end this so anytime you want to end an output stream ENDL now remember what I was saying you do not have to use namespace std I'm going to show you an alternative once this if this works. Notice I said if. Let's close this. I don't see anything wrong with it. Well, it shouldn't work. I'm declaring, assigning, and then I'm taking the square root. So let's see. Save this. Now I'm not purchasing. I'm using a free version. Okay, so let's go to my terminal. Not seller. Clear. <laughs> Okay, C to compile it over here. Let's make this bigger. I'm doing C plus plus the name of the file. Okay, what's the error? Oh, it's IO stream. So it says file not found. Fatal error. It tells me IO stream. So it's IO stream. Okay, beautiful. Let's see. Let's do it again. Beautiful.
run let's see it proceed this is this is the file it, it produced a that output to come now see all I did was uh, was actually compile the code to check that there was an error now I'm going to execute it see that one is one beautiful this is so cute oh my gosh you got this amazing one is one two is two three is three four is two and five is five okay so basically like zero there's something is wrong with the square root of five there obviously not right why is that square root of five it's not giving me the correct that's oh <laughs> notice why the square root of five is wrong it's basically saying zero it's zero because we can, I'm sure you can guess by looking at why it's giving me such a small number. I didn't define five. That's why five equals five point zero. There we go. Let's try this now. So we have to once because we changed it, we have to compile it again. You know, C plus plus blah. Okay. It's cute. There we go. Hey, it works. Okay, let's make this a little cleaner. This can be better. Uh, I, t I also teach coding, by the way, at schools. And this, I would this I would take some points of if a student was to was to turn this in, even though this is the isn't even though this is first level. One, the first thing I I would I would um correct is the unnecessary use of bringing. STD in the library. You don't now. STD comes with a lot of stuff. It's like imagine going to going go um, going shopping for a pair of shoes and you take a shopping cart. Oh no, that's a bad idea. I, imagine going going um, to the laundry, right? And all you need is a soap or something, and and, and you take a shopping cart with a bunch of clothes, shoes, and everything inside the cart. But all you need from the card is soap. So it makes no sense pushing the card. So all you need is the soap. You understand? I hope that makes sense. Well, let me show you what I mean. You can just remove this. Say STD. It's little funny little dots to dot stuff. So to dot code. And I'll explain in my later videos. I don't need to explain now. Let's see if it works. I just removed it. Let's see if it works. I have to recompile. Ooh, nice. Still works. Beautiful. So we got the number. We have the square root. Again, we can make this a little better. Still a little ugly. I mean. Okay. We can remove all of this. And do it from the keyboard. This is to enter values from the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five. And then to tell ourselves what we need to do, enter one through five. Again, new, at the end of everything, you always want to do a new line. Anytime you do an output, or in, or, yeah, output. Let's do this sin also comes from my CV. Okay, can we make anything here better? Hmm, we can. We can do a loop because it's five, but let's not. This video is not about loops and stuff, so this is this is fine. Let's not overdo it. Honestly, we can make we can do this as well. Okay, this is fine. I guess I'll accept that. Let's let's just hope everything works. We have to recompile it again. Beautiful execute. Oh, it says enter one through five. You see that? It stops. The compiler waits for me. One, and I press enter on my keyboard. Two, I press enter on my keyboard. Three, enter. Four, enter. Five, enter. Done. Beautiful. This is amazing. This is much better. I, I like this. All right, so I'm going to stop the video now. And then on the next video, I'm going to pose another question that I'm going to take you through different types of concepts in C++.
And if you enjoy my video, please let me know by liking it and also by subscribing. And leave a comment, please. I can always be better. Your feedback is important and necessary.